The Nets have officially just sunk to a new low tonight. I know the season is early, but this basketball team has just sunk to a new low. When you're getting more production on outside stuff that's going on around this team and outside noise than you're getting on the basketball court, you have a problem. The Brooklyn Nets just dropped their fourth straight game tonight. Losing to the lowly Indiana Pacers, and that's no disrespect to the Pacers because you know what? They're a better basketball team right now than the Nets. And this is a basketball team that didn't, that didn't even not even play with Miles Turner on it. Miles Turner did not even play. And the Nets just... The Nets are just finding new ways to sink to new lows. They are finding new ways to sink to new lows. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous with this basketball team. The Nets lose tonight 125-116. They drop to 1-5 on the season. They can't play defense. This team is defensively inept. They are defensively inept. They were getting baskets driven. To, they were getting players driving to the basket from the Pacers. They couldn't stand in front of anybody. They were having players drive right past them. This defense is horrendous. The Nets defense sucks. I could do a better job at playing defense. And I haven't played basketball in 15, 20 years. And I could do a better job right now than this defense. There's no chemistry between this team. There's no continuity. And the drama's starting up again. I don't want to go into detail about the whole Kyrie Irving situation, but apparently he's having more drama around here. And I just, it's, this is becoming more of a distraction with this team. This team showed no effort tonight. I don't give a crap if they scored 116 points. That's talent alone. Talent that's not good enough. <laughs> This team could not stop anything. That's how bad this defense is. Nothing. Benedict Matherin, a rookie, was unstoppable shooting for the Pacers. He shot 50% from the field, including 6 for 9 from three-point line. He scored 32 Points. He scored as many points as he had minutes in the game. Halliburton was unbelievable. He had the big game too. And the Pacers got contributions from multiple players. Jalen Smith. Jackson played well. Heald had a good game. And the Nets... Once again, just the usuals. Kyrie Irving once again trying everything he can. And he still. He tried to do everything he can to keep this team in it. 13 for 22 shooting, 35 points. Durant actually had an off night a little bit shooting, 26 points. Ben Simmons probably had one of his better games and it still wasn't as incredibly impressive. Though he almost did have a triple-double. I will give that to Ben. He almost did have a triple-double. But he also made some careless plays on the, on, the, on the court. But I thought Ben Simmons actually had one of his better games. <laughs> but otherwise, besides Durant and Irving, sure, Royce O'Neal had 11 points. Sure, Joe Harris had 11 points. This team can't play defense. You bring in Ben Simmons and Royce O'Neal and Yuta Watanobi and Markeith Morris to help with this team's defense. And you know what? The defense is as bad as it was last year, if not worse. Now, I know people are going to say it's only six games in the season. It's only the beginning of the season. These guys have got to gel. I don't care. This team, one of the things that I have said and most Nets fans have said, 
This team needs to get off to a fast start. Within a competitive Eastern Conference, this team needed to get to a fast start. Or you're going to start here in the drama, and guess what? The drama's already here. And now this basketball team is 1-5, and five, and they couldn't even beat the goddamn Pacers. You know what? I'm sorry for disrespecting the Indiana Pacers, because you know what? You're a better basketball team right now than the Brooklyn Nets. Jacques Vaughn, Steve Nash. Does anybody on this team know how to coach defense? Does anybody on this team know how to play defense? Is this team just defensively inept? I mean, every single time there's just somebody wide open for a three-point shot for the Pacers. They shot 50% from three. 50 how are you supposed to win basketball games when you're giving up 50% from the three-point range during games? Tell me. How? <laughs> Does this team know how to play defense And when it comes to guarding the three? Because every single time you have Brooklyn Nets running out to the three-point line and you have wide-open shooters for the other team hitting threes. Every single game, it's happening. Matherin, Heald, Halliburton, Smith, Jackson, all these guys, these young players for the Indiana Pacers, you know what? They grew up really fast when they played against the Nets because every single one of them had big games. Every single one of them played well for the Pacers. And the Nets, it's just the same usual players. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and you get bit, bit, bit contributions from other people. Joe Harris, he was okay. Royce O'Neal, he was okay. Ben Simmons, he almost had a triple-double. Maybe one of his better games of his uh, young Nets career. It's okay. Nick Claxton. He almost had a double-double. He was not bad. Nets need better though. This team just looks like a discombobulated mess. A discombobulated friggin' mess. The Nets have only won one game at home. One game. And I believe they played in five games so far this season at home. And they've won one. No wonder why I hear about the ticket sales being the lowest in the NBA when it comes to home ticket sales. Guess who's the worst right now in the league? Yup, the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets have the lowest attendance when it comes to ticket sales out of every other NBA franchise in the league. And that's with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons on your basketball team. And you have the lowest drawing ticket, uh, ticket sales for a home team and a home arena. You know what? Maybe they deserve it. Because this basketball team is so bad right now. This basketball team is horrendous right now. They are so bad defensively, it's inept and it's scary. If you're giving up 125 points to the Indiana Pacers, you have problems. And like I said, this is no disrespect to the Pacers because they're a good young and up and coming basketball team. But they should not be doing this against the Brooklyn Nets. If the Nets keep playing basketball like this, they're not going to beat anybody. And we still have another game against the Pacers. I look like a friggin' moron right now. When I went on Heart of the City this past Tuesday, shout out to my guys, Big Fan Breezy, Coach Ed Gladney, as well as Unpopular Opinion Sports. When I'm saying there and say, we should go 5-0, and 5-0, and oh. we should go 5-0. and oh. Right now we're on a trajectory where you go 0-5. Oh
We lose to the Grizzlies. We lose to the Bucks without Chris Middleton. We lose to the Mavericks, back-to-back losses. And now we lose to the Indiana Pacers in our first of two games against the Pacers at Barclays Center. <laughs> this team better do some damn early soul-searching. Because now you're a 1-5 basketball team with drama already surrounding Kyrie Irving. Eventually, how long until Kevin Durant starts chirping about wanting to get the hell off this basketball team? And I just got a news report that Simmons, Ben Simmons says this team had a players-only meeting. You know what? Damn right they should have a players-only meeting because this team needs to do some soul-searching. How you can have a team this talented and you play this bad? This team should be a championship caliber basketball team and they're playing like a team that should be competing for the lottery. How you have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, two of the most talented basketball players in the league, putting up 30 points consistently. Both these guys. And this team still can't win. Nobody else on this team is consistently playing well. Nobody. (laughs) It's just, it's ridiculous. So I hope to God, whatever they're saying in this players only meeting tonight, they better do some damn soul searching. Going into Sunday... And then going into Monday's contest against the Pacers again. Because they better not let this basketball team beat him again. Nets lost four. Four in a row. Four in a row. The only team that was actually really difficult was the the Grizzlies. And I would even argue the Nets should have beat them. But maybe I just... Maybe I just overrated this basketball team. Maybe I did. Now, like I said, this team still needs time to gel. But this team is really needs to start getting it going and soon. Because this Eastern Conference is really good. And if the Nets don't start turning it around and turning it around quick, they're going to be left behind in the dust. And do you really want to get a low seed if you make the playoffs? Do you really want to be playing in the playing games again like they did last year? And having a low seed going into the playoffs? NBA, you want to get those whole, those top seeds. This team needs help all over the place. And the number one thing this team needs to start doing better is defense. The team defense is horrendous right now. They are giving up consistently 120 plus points to their opposing team. And how are you supposed to win? And the fact of the matter is they're giving up close to 50% on every single night from the three-point line. The Nets have arguably the worst three-point defense in the league. This team is giving up way too many second-chance points too. I mean, I'm just, as a fan, how can you not be frustrated? The Nets got out-rebounded by 19, 53 to to 34. How are you supposed to win when you're not, and that's without Miles Turner. That's without their best player on their team. And the Nets got out-rebounded by 19. Once again, where's Cam Thomas? Why is this kid not playing? Edmund Sumner. Where's he? (laughs) I'm going to give Seth Curry a break. It's his first game being back from ankle surgery. He had 18 minutes and didn't score any points. But you know what? I'm not going to get on him because he just came back from ankle surgery. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But this team is right now looking absolutely pathetic as a basketball team. But I really hope, I really hope this team can start Take, look it in the mirror and turn things around. And whatever this players meeting they're going to be having tonight, they better look in the mirror and realize this team needs to get it together and get it together fast. Because you're 1-5 right now and sinking. 
And if this team doesn't start turning things around and quick, it might be all she wrote immediately. Steve Nash is on the hot seat. He could be fired. Jacques Vaughn, he could be fired. The owner looks like a buffoon right now. Kyrie Irving creating more drama off the court. How long until Kevin Durant starts getting uh, pissed off and he starts complaining? Ben Simmons looked better tonight, but he looks like a lost soul for the most part. The Nets better turn things around right now. They better turn things around. I don't give a crap if it's early in the season. This is the fourth year with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. I'm done with excuses. This team is talented, too talented right now to start off the way they have. And if this team does not turn it around soon, that's all she wrote. One and five. Losing to the Indiana Pacers without Miles Turner in your own home arena. It's embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. And this team needs to do some soul searching and looking in the mirror and realizing that this team maybe isn't as good as they think they are. Better start turning things around immediately or it's going to be a long season and a long winter and an early spring. Because I don't, I'm going to be very disgusted and other Nets fans that I've talked to, they're really pissed off right now about this basketball team. So they better start turning it around. But that's just my review I want to give for this Brooklyn Nets team. As the Nets have dropped their fourth in a row after they lost to the Indiana Pacers tonight by this final score of 125-116. to The Nets once again just have an abysmal defensive performance. And once again it's pretty much Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving that have carried the entire offensive load with nobody else really... Contributing a whole lot. Sure, Joe Harris and Royce O'Neal had some points they put up. They did both score in double figures, but it's not enough. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button below. Sub up if you haven't already to NYGJeffyT85 for more breaking news, updates, chatter, and game recaps surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that's going to drop on the channel surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And let me know in the comment section how you're feeling about the Brooklyn Nets at the latest loss and the fact this team has dropped four in a row. Four in a row. With another game this Monday against the Indiana Pacers at home again. A back-to-back -back in terms of back-to-back -back scenario with the Pacers at home. And if you agree with me, this team needs to do some soul-searching and... You agree that this team, whatever they're doing, their players only meeting, they better get their acts together soon. So I thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your Saturday night. I hope you have a great weekend overall. Take it easy and let's go Brooklyn Nets. As always, it's a Nets world and we all just live in it.